What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and you all know that I love journalists. I totally think that most of them are amazing people who just want to get the truth out there. They definitely don't want to spin things and outright lie for clicks. They definitely don't want to divide the American people. And I definitely wouldn't say that the mainstream media and journalists are an enemy to the people. I would never say that because I think journalists are stunning and brave and 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 they're tough job of walking around with their thousand dollar smartphone trolling twitter for stories every day and then getting those stories wrong it's probably really difficult for them i mean i think that in this country there's already an established kind of stigma around making fun of the uh mentally uh, handicapped or men mentally stunted, yet people continue to ignore protecting journalists who clearly suffer from the exact same affliction. They can't help that they're, you know, slower than most people. It's not their fault. And I think, you know, making fun of them isn't really going to help them. And now finally, finally, journalists are, are circling their wagons and helping each other to talk about the mental toll being a journalist really has. You know what's funny to me? I guarantee you in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, you didn't hear journalists whining about their mental health. Why? Because many of them were actual journalists. Imagine that. You know, the only paper I even read now is my local paper. And I, I, would, I would implore... I challenge, I request you pick up a copy of your local paper, not the big city journal, but your local paper and read it. It's honestly refreshing reading actual journalism. Sure, it might be about whether or not the city should put in a new sandbox at the park, but you know they're not lying and it's actually backed up by actual investigation. Beyond local papers and some YouTubers, I just don't think there's anybody worth trusting out there. And it's really unfortunate. I had a conversation with somebody at Easter uh, who was kind of like, uh, well, he's like a closet Republican in the family because the patriarch of the family is a strong Democrat. And anybody who leans slightly right of that, uh, we just avoid Converse, political conversation because it's just not worth it. I'm not going to argue with an, an 80 year old grandpa. It's just not worth it. I'm just there to eat ham and cheesy potatoes and get on with my day. Uh, but, you know, there are moments where people who are in the know, in the room, uh, who, 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 you know, he asked me, Who do you watch for news? And I said, Really? I don't trust any of it. Uh, you know, Fox has, Fox and CNN both have their obvious slants. I think Fox. Um, I find myself in the same camp with them more often, but it doesn't mean I automatically trust everything they say out of hand. Now you have even more bias news on the right, like a Newsmax or, um, what's the other one that broke off from kind of the, um, uh, betrayal many Republicans felt with Fox news and their election coverage. But look, I don't want to hear about journalists' mental health. It's the easiest job on the planet. Now, you want to talk to me, you know, you want you want to talk about embedded journalists with, like, the, you know, armed forces in the desert? Okay, I agree with that. But that's not who we're talking about here. Let's take a look at a now-protected tweet from Gwen. Blue checkmark, for whatever reason, 2,000 followers and a PhD student in Brooklyn, New York. Hi there. I'm working on a story about journalists' mental health since the work reporters do is so trauma-facing and has become all the more so during the lockdowns. I'm especially interested in hearing from journalists of color, LGBTQ reporters, disabled reporters, and reporters? I mean, they're all disabled mentally, right? I mean, they all have that same affliction. It's so hilarious that a PhD student, you can read the headline, right? Journalists suffer mental toll even worse for min minority groups. 
That's what it's. That's I can write the article right now. I don't need to hear from any journalists. Oh, every time I just I just try to battle misinformation from my Twitter account, and I get a uh, tens of people making fun of me and posting memes. Why won't anybody trust me? That's what it is. Oh, and all this, and also this exact same thing is worse for me because my skin color is different for some reason. Right? That that's that's the that's what it is. Uh, reporters from other marginalized groups, sorry, about how they protect their mental health and emotional well-being, reporting on issues that directly affect their communities. If this is you and you're interested in speaking with me, let me know. Otherwise, feel free to share with others. Thank you to everyone who's reached out. I think between the interviews I've scheduled and the ones I'm still coordinating, I'm all set. The piece is only 900 words, so it's already killing me to think about how much I have to cut. I really appreciate your willingness to share your stories. This isn't the first time I'll be writing about journalists' mental health. <laughs> Won't somebody think about the journalists, the ruling class? These are the same idiots, okay? I want to be very clear. Remember when Donald Trump was president and he was getting grilled every single day? Melania Trump, for no fault of her own, getting smeared every single day by these journalists. Now, three times a week, whatever Joe Biden's wife, Dr. Jill Biden, is wearing is trending. The clothes she's wearing. That's what these reporters are reporting on. I don't care about you. Your job is irrelevant because none of you are actual journalists. This isn't the last time and I'll be focusing on being a modern journalist. By the way, a modern journalist is reading tweets. That's what I'm doing. I'm a journalist. Smash like now if you're a journalist too. And by the way, if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to my journalism channel here by hitting that red subscribe button down below. YouTube is purging hundreds of subscribers a day for my channel. I don't know why, but please make sure that you're still subscribed or that if you haven't yet, please do today. David Earl saying, thank you for doing this story. I did my master's thesis on the topic, and I'm an LGBTQ plus reporter, and I'd love to talk to you about this. No, nobody cares. This is the most hilarious garbage on the planet. Won't somebody feel bad for the journalists? Won't somebody feel bad for the people that are literally paid to divide our country? that are paid to lie, that obfuscate the truth knowingly? Won't somebody think of their mental health? This is hilarious. Everybody in this thread, by the way, they're all nobodies I've never even heard of, are in here whining about how difficult it is for them. And you have... The struggles exacerbated by the lockdowns won't disappear soon. This should be a wake-up call to the news industry. How about this one? How the Atlantic's Ed Young navigated a year of deep coof coverage. The pro prolific science writer talks about covering things he knew was coming. The challenge, misinformation, and 2020's impact on his mental health. Oh, oh I was selling doom and gloom every day. I had to get this little counter on my website that updated every time somebody died because I got more clicks that way. Won't somebody feel bad for me? No. Sorry. Don't feel bad for you. 100% garbage class of people uh, with very few exceptions of trustworthy writers. If the, the fact of the matter is you don't want to in life throw the you know baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. But when the bathwater is this toxic, I mean, there's nothing worth saving in journalism. These people are all ideologues, paid shills, political hacks, and lies liars for pay. I don't care about their mental health. I will continue to uh, point out that this field, by the way, not this Gwen person. I don't know who she is. Don't care. I don't like journalists. Journalists are liars. 
journalists make this world worse every single day. Hope you enjoyed this video, though, journalists. Hope you get be hope you feel better soon. We'll talk to you again real soon.